Okay, in problem number 14, we are given this figure, uh, ray OC, OB, OA, all with a common point zero, with ray OB in the interior of angle COA. All right, the other information that they give to us is they tell us that the measure of angle AOB is equal to 2x plus 10 degrees. They also tell us that the measure of angle BOC is equal to 4x minus 20 degrees. And finally, they tell us that the measure of angle AOC is equal to 110 degrees. All right. So looking at this, AOB is this angle right here. So that's 2x plus 10. BOC is this angle above it. So I can place that right there. And we know that measure of angle AOC now is going to be the entire angle or the, the obtuse angle that you see right there. So from that we can come up with an equation. We know that the sum of the two smaller angles is equal to the measure of the entire of the larger obtuse angle. So we can write now we can write 4x minus 20 degrees plus 2x plus 10 degrees is going to be equal to 110 degrees. Combining our like terms, we have 6x and negative 20 plus 10 is negative 10 equals 110. Adding 10 to both sides of, these, of the resulting equation we wind up getting 6x equals 120. Dividing both sides of that equation by 6, which is the coefficient of the variable, we wind up with 120 divided by 6. So we wind up with x being equal to 20. All right. So if I <coughs> wind up plugging this 20 in for x and 4x minus 20, uh, this is going to give COB an angle measure. Let's see, 4 times 20 is 80 minus 20, so that should be 60 degrees. Uh, 2 times 20 is 40, 40 plus 10 is 50, so that should be 50 degrees. And to double check myself, if I go 60 plus 50, does that equal 110? And in fact, it does. So there's my check. And I now have the angle measure for both BOC and AOB.